Yeah, I mean, um, baseball locker room is is uh, different than any other I've ever experienced. It's it's a it's a much tighter bond between guys, and it's just it's just special. So we have a special group of guys here at Clemson, and uh, that's what's going to make our team special this year. <clears throat> Yeah, really just one practice at a time. Um, you know, this is a really important week this week and next week and leading up to game time to um, just really get better as a team. And uh, you got to take it one game at a time. Every game matters. Uh, that's what I learned from last year because we came up a couple uh, couple games short of making a regional. So just uh, every game matters, and uh, every game, every day is the biggest day of the year. Do you feel like you're going to have a shoulder? I mean, yeah, yeah. Just uh, excited to you know hopefully help contribute and get back to a regional and super regional in Omaha. But uh, like you said, it's it's one game at a time. We can't get there. We can't skip from now to go to June. So just one one day at a time, one one week at a time. I uh, saw you in the locker room after the Orange Bowl, and I said, are you ready to get this going? Are you, does it feel good to be healthy and knowing this? This is my thing now. This is what I do to be able to come out here and put together a full season and play the game that you love. Yeah, yeah, I was telling them earlier. It's, uh, these last three or four days, I've, I've felt the best I have in about a year and a half. So I feel like I'm just flying around here with my, my teammates and uh, ready to hopefully help contribute to this team. No Bryce? Nope. Good to go. So for you, he's talking about you being in the outfield mix and all that. We, we know what you can do. For you, what are you working on the most? Because if you do what you do, you know you're going to be out there. What have you been working on the most? Um, really just just my outfield game. I think uh, I was just kind of jumped in it a little too quick last year. Uh, I was ready to go physically, but uh, just, you know, I feel like I get more reps, which was, was tough because the rehab process didn't allow me to do some of that stuff. But I um, feel like I'm definitely uh, crafting my work out there in the outfield, and um, that's one step I can definitely take. What's it been like having Coach Beck, Coach Noble, Phil Pohl, guys like that? Has it been a little bit of a, of a culture change around here with those guys? It's it's been great. It's uh, you know both sides, football and baseball. It's it's the same type of people, and uh, you know, that's that's the type of players they're gonna they're gonna coach and, and have, and um, that's the type of coaches that win championships. So I'm excited to get back over here, and um, you know it's it's kind of the same similar cultures here in at football. So I'm excited to get going. That's what I was gonna ask you. Yeah, he, he mentioned about being out in the community, turning you guys into good husbands, fathers. I've heard that before from that guy across the road. Does he remind you that a little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, we do a lot of community service, uh, a lot of team meetings. We feel like finally each other, each guys together, and uh, you know that's really really important, especially in baseball. You know, just bonding with your teammates and having a close knit team together, and uh, you know that's what's gonna win games in June. So uh, that's what we're working on right now, and um, that's probably one of the most important things. I actually uh, played against two guys with Dutch Park and Bill Press, and you feel like getting us is Jesus Christ. Do you feel like that actually like prepared you a little bit, or was it like an oh shit moment? Um, Got this level. Is it completely different? Uh, yeah, I just I would say a different speed, uh, same game, same measurements, uh, but uh, just different speed, and that's you know the biggest challenge for high school to college is is uh, the speed, guys throwing at you harder and, and running faster and hitting the ball harder. So um, just adapting to that, and um, I really played over the summer a lot, so really helped me kind of get a full season on my belt after playing about 12 games last year here. So um, really felt like that was the biggest change. And you kind of feel like that baseball IQ goes up as you run around guys who are like iron truck and iron and get around some of the best. Like you feel like that starts to develop too. Yeah, yeah, obviously I got some of the best teammates in the country, um, some of the best coaches in the country, and I take advantage of them every day and just uh, trying to learn from them and stretch my brain a little bit. Uh, um, hanging with some older guys definitely helps with that. Uh, just, just learn Every day. But guys, do you feel like you're taking that leadership role and kind of more like as you come in? Yeah, definitely some of the leaders, some of the older guys, fifth, sixth year guys. Um, you know, Caden and, and Ryan Ammons over here uh, have done a great job just 
uh, just really being leaders on the team, and, and I look up to them, and um, you know that's what's that's what's going to get us to Omaha in June and regional, super regionals. Uh, just just leaders on this team, and and um, just pulling the rope like we always say.